Hey y'all, Dirtbag Minimal here, Karina, your host. Um, I just wanted to do a little video talking about why dirtbag, um, why dirtbag minimalism. Um, I think one thing is that term can have some negative connotations to it, but for me, it means someone that is ready just to kind of get down and dirty <laughs> but that doesn't mean that I like I don't like clean I really like clean as well but um I did um, a cross-country trip across the states for six months driving in my little Subaru and I would stop at farms and work for like a week or so in exchange for room and board through the wolfing program uh, I also stopped at state parks national parks and went camping and hiking and running and I would sleep in my tent. Um, a lot of times I would just sleep in my car. So I traveled through the South. So I started in North Carolina and I went down South, uh, through South Carolina and through Georgia, Louisiana, Texas. I was in Texas for a while, um, spending a lot of time in different parts. And I finally made my way to California where I eventually sold my car and then flew back to North Carolina where I was staying. Um, and just that whole trip that living out of just what you have in your car and you know I went I think a week once without showering <laughs> and um, I like things clean but I am not the cleanliest person and I've got like dust everywhere and I get really messy and so you know being okay with that sometimes I just don't shower because I don't know it <laughs> I just don't and um, so like literally dirty dirt bag and also um, farming and sustainability and soil culture and how dirt is what holds us you know alive the, the the bounty that the soil is and the earth and so i like that word i like dirt it it holds us up it feeds us it lets humans be alive and the animals and the plants and everything so it's like the mother <laughs> in a sense and um yeah and i think that i just saw so much minimalism that was so clean and white and straight lines, which I love, but at the same time, there wasn't that idea of like gritty minimalism. I mean, there probably is, but, but in the way that felt right to me. So what I mean by that is like, you know, minimalism in the sense of you don't have to get new fancy containers to hold all your foods right just recycle you know old yogurt tubs and um if you want a very minimal wardrobe it's not going out and getting the perfect thing it's about fixing your old t-shirt um, and of course it's great to get something nice that's going to last you that is a part of sustain sustainability as well but it's also just using what you have that's not perfect and being messy in the way you do things that's all okay and just a lot of a lot of that sort of minimal clean lifestyle um wasn't speaking to another part of me the dirty part of me the one that has always has i always have dirt under my fingernails i always have a cut somewhere and a bruise somewhere and you know the kitchen's always a little bit dirty and um you know I wear some old clothes again, you know, I don't wash my clothes every time and just a lot of little things that I felt encompass that. And so I like the idea of just kind of going with the flow. Also, it's something that I want to live up to, you know, I think a dirt bag is ready to just kind of go with the flow and do whatever and um, isn't afraid to get down and dirty, which is me but also there's some parts of me that I strive to be a little bit more like that so it's kind of placing that word in order for me to live up to it and grow into those shoes and mostly just yeah just to connect with people to show because I think that that sort of clean 
everything perfect, don't own anything sort of minimalism can put a lot of people off because it's intimidating or they don't relate with it. And we're, it's very rare that we're that, humans can be that clean and organized. We're all kind of messy. And so if I can speak to that part of you, that you can be messy and be mindful of what you consume and your con contribution in the world and the way you move, all those things can be applied. Minimalism can be applied to that. And yeah, my number one thing is just to make this relatable and be true to the kind of minimal person I am. Yeah, just get down and dirty. So, so that's my story on Dirtbag Minimal. And I'm glad you all are following along. Um, keep following along and <laughs> you'll get to see my tiny house finished soon. Also, I know I'm starting off with a lot of tiny house videos because that's my project right now, but eventually that's going to be completed and Dirtbag Minimal is going to continue. The idea is that I want to talk about this as a lifestyle. So the being the tiny house is a huge component of living this certain way of being that sort of minimal that I want to be. Um, getting rid of stuff, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But also, I want to continue to build on that and show everyone different things that I do in different ways. Um, you know, how I minimal minimize in clothing or stuff or books or the way I move or all kinds of tidbits on this lifestyle that I'm, it's not complete. I'm constantly learning and growing at the same time that you're watching me. So I'm going to be sharing as I move along. And I think that that could possibly help people join in. This is not an end. This is, there's no destination. It's the road to it. It's that the moving towards it. Minimalism. You're, you're never minimal. You are as much as you think that you are. And um, so it's not an end point. It's, it's the intention behind the journey towards this idea. So join me and keep watching.